pick up some quick tips. Um, but then also, we can utilize uh, online platforms. Now, let, let's look at the supplier side. We talk about products, now we're going to suppliers. Um, there are, are online platforms. Alibaba is probably the, the one that everyone uses the most. But the important thing is that like a lot of people don't use it correctly. There's very, very good suppliers on Alibaba and there's very, very bad suppliers on Alibaba. And he is how do we filter out the bad ones and go straight to the good ones. And I'm going to show you that uh, in a demo real quick. And then there's globalsources.com, which is pretty cool. They've got some other stuff, um, which might not be on Alibaba, which is great. 1688, a lot of people talk about it. I don't advise uh, you to use it. 1688 is actually owned by Alibaba as well, but it's mainly for the domestic market in China. And you might see cheaper prices on there. There's people talking in Facebook groups, hey, I got the same product on 1688, but it was much cheaper. Well, it's because it was for the domestic market, so it wasn't meant for export. So the, if you're doing any pets or kids or baby products and you know you need certain standards for your products, they don't have that on 1688 because they don't export the products. So the regulations are different in China than they are to the US, obviously language barriers and stuff like that. So you can go on the website and check it out and look at pricing. And if you want, screenshot that price and send it to your existing manufacturer to use it as a negotiation tool. Hey, it's Ria Mittal here. Before you leave, make sure to subscribe to SellerApp's main YouTube channel where we upload all things Amazon and some how-to guides that will make sure that you're running on Amazon. You will not get this anywhere else. Until the next time, happy selling.